Hello everybody, this is David Harrison, Four Corners Alliance Group, coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia now, back in the USA after a wonderful trip around Africa. I'm just going to check and make sure that I've got uh, all, everything hooked up properly and that we're all getting connected together on Facebook and also on live stream. Um, the, uh, the event should be showing up on live stream. Let's just check what we've got here. Hello everybody, this is David Harrison. All right, let's just checking, checking, checking. Four Corners Alliance Group coming to you from Atlanta. So I can hear myself. Georgia it now back in the USA after a wonderful trip. All right, so let's close down Facebook so we don't have an echo. I'm just going to check and make sure that I've got uh, all, everything hooked up right. properly and that we're all getting connected together on Facebook and also on live stream. Um, the, uh, the event should be showing up on live stream. Let's just check what we've got here. Hello, everybody. This is David Harrison. Wait a second. Where's that coming from? Ah, I see. All right, got all right. it. Let's just Been doing so much it. testing. Four Corners Alliance Group coming to you from Atlanta. Been doing so much testing today. We've got ourselves in a little bit of a loop here. So let's close down Facebook so we don't have an echo. I'm just going to check and make sure that I've got uh, everything hooked up right. properly and that we're all getting connected together. All right. Okay. So now we should be good. All right. Wonderful. So finally, we have a solution that's going to work for us, which is exciting. And um, <laughs> it's been a tough 24 hours, I've got to tell you. Because uh, I got it was a day and a half travel and flying and so on. I got home late on Thursday night, and uh, yesterday I spent the day with my programming, my developers, working through and making sure we had all of the um, everything fixed and working correctly for the sweepstakes. And then uh, we dove into doing a Facebook Live event right after we finished testing, which didn't go off so well. So you know that's uh, hey, these things happen, you know, and. Uh, it's been a kind of a stressful 24 hours making sure that we got to the point that this works. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I'm going to get to the sweepstakes here very shortly. Uh, this is the, my first time in maybe five years playing around with Livestream. Livestream's got some great features and what I've done is I've hooked it up to Facebook and so a lot of you guys are watching us from Facebook. Um, now, I can switch to screen using this technology which is really neat. And so now you can see what I'm looking at, and I'm just going to hide that, and we're just going to pop back to here for a second. I'm just going to uh, talk very, very briefly about what the sweepstakes is all about, and the reason is this. I know you all want to see the sweepstakes, you just want me to get on with it and get it done. But the thing is, is that this, it's more than just the sweepstakes. You're not out there, if you're a member of Four Corners, you're not out there selling tickets, right? You're selling a product. And so from my point of view, it's incredibly important that we discuss the product very briefly. I won't go through the payouts again today uh, because I've been asked to keep it brief. So what I am going to do though is I'm going to jump ahead in the slides here a little bit and uh, I want to talk about the product just very very quickly. It's ten dollars a week to be a part of this and the additional benefit is you do get a ticket in the sweepstakes draw which is very exciting. Sweepstakes you can win a portion of twenty four thousand um, dollars. That portion will vary depending on uh, whether you've recruited a team or whether um, various circumstances, okay? So our product that you're getting for the $10 a week is a couple of things. One is that it is a, um, you're getting charts. Now, I, I have a feeling that most people don't really understand what we mean by that. Um, some of you will be familiar with day trading and Forex and all that kind of thing. Um, it's not that. Uh, it's a little different to that, but it still has a lot of power. And then in the coming weeks, I'm going to take $100 and show you how much money you would make following these charts. Okay, or at least, you know, from, from, from an educational point of view, I've got to be very clear about that. We're not making any recommendations. And what I've got here on the screen is two charts. I've got a Bitcoin weekly chart and a Bitcoin monthly chart. And we have other charts for you as well. And I'm going to be showing you in a minute how they work and how you take advantage of them. We also have a weekly newsletter, and I'd like to show you that very quickly because I've got one of them uh, here that I should be able to, I should be able to bring up for you. Here we go. 
little bit of delay, so I'm jumping ahead of myself here. All right, so actually, here's the charts. Let me just pop back here. All right, so here's the, rec here's the current uh, edition. It's uh, International Entrepreneur. The idea of the, of the weekly newsletter is to provide information. Right now, it's Africa-centric, but soon it's going to be more. Um, there'll be one on Africa, one on USA, one on, um, uh, on Asia as well, Asia-Pacific. And um, here's the purpose of it is because Four Corners, here's what Four Corners is about. Maybe I just haven't expressed this very well. My purpose for Four Corners was, okay, you want to make a business opportunity, you want to make some money. Sure, I get that. You know, it's a business opportunity. There's tons of them out there. The difference with us is we've been around since 2012 and um, we, we've fairly been consistently paying reliably. We have occasional problems like all businesses do when banks do weird things and change rules and what have you. But by and large, we've paid every week in one form or another reliably for five years now. So that's great. That's the mechanics of the business. We're running a business. We run the business. On the other side of the coin, <clears throat> here's what I've discovered about being somebody who was um, who had to basically bootstrap myself from nothing to become a business person is that at some point you're going to have to get beyond just thinking about money and you're going to have to start thinking about a vision for where you're trying to get yourself and your family, right? Once you start focusing on that, other things will flow behind you and, and you'll get to the point where money flows. The money just comes, right? And you'll stop obsessing over the money part to try and survive week to week. This newsletter here is really designed to start training your brain, to start thinking about opportunities. There's tons of them out there. There's a lot of fantastic ones in Africa. Um, every week we're, we're bringing new uh, new uh, news items around Africa and, uh, and it's interesting stuff. There's a lot of good reading in here. Um, I know some of you are not ready for this just yet, but I just encourage you to at least glance through it so you're just vaguely aware of all the great things that are going on in Africa because it's very easy for, to think that nothing goes on around you, but there's, there's also a lot of fantastic things going on. Um, some of them are big projects, some of them are joint ventures, and some of them are small projects, right? So every week we're going to be bringing you a great deal of information on what's happening. And not only that, but we've got the market sectors. Oh, I was going to mention real quickly, I follow this woman, Beth Comstock. I follow her on um, LinkedIn. Um, she's a fantastic businesswoman. And um, she, as you can see here, she's a vice chair of um, GE. Um, uh, for women, I think, uh, she's somebody to follow. I mean, I follow her too because she's a great business person, but she's a perfect example of a woman who um, has no barrier, or sees no barriers as far as glass ceilings or anything like that. And I think uh, for the for the ladies here, um, you might find her interesting to follow. Um, she's certainly very inspirational for everyone. Okay, so great magazine. Take a look at this. It comes out. We've got a new new edition every week and uh, a lot of great information. At the bottom we have information on the stock markets, Africa, African markets, Asian markets, and European markets. Um, and here's the American markets at the bottom. So let me just pop back. Now, the other part of our product is charts, okay? Here's some charts here. This is actually the current week. Um, oh, this is the monthly uh, view, I think. Or just Yeah, this is the monthly view. And um, part of the purpose of, of us doing this show every week is to help you guys understand how you can take advantage of this kind of thing, even if you've never been in it, without having to learn a whole lot of stuff, right? It's really, really quite simple. I'm just going to pop back to um, the sweeps, um, the keynote that I've got here on this because it'll show you in more detail. I'll just pop to the next slide and we'll take it to full screen here. And I'm just going to pause for one second while I look at my phone and just see if anyone's pinging me to say that we have any issues. Yep. No, looks like looks like we're probably okay. All right, so um, yep, looks like we're okay. Good news. Finally, we have a winner. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this chart really quickly. And, and I'm going to be giving you some far more specific examples of this in the coming weeks. In fact, I was talking to Jim Yarbrough, my business partner, on the flight home. I was saying, you know what, I'm just going to open up a separate account 
I'm going to throw a hundred bucks into um, Bitcoin and I'm just going to show everybody exactly how you can leverage that hundred dollars. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's talk about this for a second because here's what we've got. This is Bitcoin monthly. So it's showing, you know, way back when Bitcoin was starting up and nothing much happened. And then we've started to get a little activity and so on. And then flatlined for a long time until we got into December of last year. Everybody who went to our live events in Africa would have seen this and, um, Oh, thanks, Grant. All right, so um, <clears throat> everybody would have seen this, uh, but I want to make a point of this because so many of you ask me, uh, what you know, what do I think is happening with Bitcoin, and should I, you know, I'm I'm hanging on to it, or I'm not hanging on to it, or when should I sell, or whatever. This is what this chart is meant to help you with, right? So an example is here. You look on the right hand side, you can see what Bitcoin is worth, and the most important thing that I want to point out right now is that we have a red signal here. Now I put sell on here just for demonstration purposes because this is what I would be doing when I saw a red signal. We're not suggesting you do this, it's purely educational only. So back here, if you were to get into, or let's go here, buy, let's just say you started here. So you were watching these charts and you thought, you know what, there's a green signal here, I'm gonna buy, okay? And it would have been just over a thousand, about 1100. Um, following our charts, you would have ridden this all the way up to here. Now, you're never going to get the exact top. It takes a while for our, our algorithms and analytics to work out that something significant is definitely going on. And so here was a sell, right? And so we knew that at this point, uh, it was statistically highly probable it was going to continue down. And so this is a point to jump off. So we would have sold out around, let's say 12,500. So we bought in at a little over a thousand and we sold out at 12,500. I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty extraordinary gain. All right, so that's one. At the moment, it's still showing bearish. It's not showing that this is going to change just yet. Um, let's see if I can just pop back. Oh, actually, I can go to the next slide here. All right, so this is the weekly. Now this was last week because I was planning to do the sweepstakes draw last week and uh, it took us until this week to get it all sorted out. But anyway, the, you can still see the same thing. So there's a sell indication. Now this is, uh, this is weekly, and you can see that there was, a, there was a buy down in here that we didn't see in the monthly, which is interesting, because I think there was another sell on the current chart. So let's go back to this week's chart, which I, um, which I had our guys send to me so that I didn't have to jump into somebody's account to show you. That's the SPY, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's pop to this gold. There's Bitcoin. All right. So this is the latest chart, the 21st. You see the date up here. So there's the next indicator that wasn't on that other chart. See, there was a buy and then there was a sell, right? Now that sell was two weeks ago um, and we're still in a sell mode. So overall, um, things are a little bit bearish for Bitcoin and there's a lot of supporting evidence to that when you do research online. Um, I think that we're probably close. I don't think it's going to get too much lower. Um, at some point, I'll be looking for a green signal, and then I'll drop that $100 in there, and we'll, we'll watch it together over the next couple of months, and we'll see how far I can take that. I think that's probably the best way I can show you practically how you can leverage 100 bucks into something fairly significant uh, on, on a volatile um, commodity like, like Bitcoin. All right, so I think that this is a phenomenal product. Um, we need to just get this out into the marketplace, spread the word, get the right, um, the right type of people who are interested in using this stuff uh, to help them make decisions on, on, their, uh, on their investment strategies, get this into their hands. I think this will be a great additional tool for, for those people. And I'm going to be encouraging many of you to, um, to not be frightened to dabble. Just only spend what you can afford to lose. That you know That's the golden rule with this sort of thing. And uh, we, can, we can follow this along together and we'll see where we get to with um, how much we can leverage our funds. So that's what our product's all about. And um, there are some other charts. And once again, you know, in these charts, I'm showing where you would buy and sell. And there's some great examples of this in gold in particular. Um, if you do this, if you time this right, you're basically what you're doing is that you're, you've got a value here, you sell into cash, you keep the cash and don't spend it. When it drops down here, which takes a little time, then you use that cash that you've saved, buy back in and you write it back up again. That's called leveraging, okay? Here's another good one. This one's great because it's a little bit more up and down. 
that's the that's the weekly. All right, so that's what our products are about. I'll have um, my um, my um, investment team now that I know I've got a, a formula for um, doing these presentations. We'll have to take it a step further in that I'll I'll need to get uh, probably the guys all together in the same room um, to do these these calls. So we'll have to get that worked out. So we'll do a separate call on this stuff and. Um, and for those of you that are keen on, on learning more about this, we'll, you'll have a weekly call to support the product as well. All right, so just a quick recap. Gold, silver, oil, China, US S&P 500. And uh, we've also got um, Bitcoin. We're going to add um, Ethereum and Litecoin, I think, and a couple of other cryptos into it as well. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of the how to participate in the... In the um, the weekly program, we're going to move along here, we're at uh, 16 minutes in. Um, for those of you that um, are members of Four Corners Alliance Group, make sure you, the mantra is go green. If you want to be part of the sweepstakes, you need to see green. You need to be green, okay? And there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can deposit funds to the Premier Weekly Program right here. Um, I have a video on how to do that, so you can go look at that in your back office. You find it under finances. And... Um, and that's about it. So, what we're going to do now? Sorry, this is overlapped, but it's intended to do a, to, to actually be be playing rather than sitting here static. So, what we're going to do is, I think it might be time for the draw, huh? So, let's just change over here to camera for a minute while I get myself set up. So. So far, so good. No one's been binging me to say that it doesn't work. So I'm guessing you guys are all <laughs> just just checking on the phone here because I turned everything else off on the computer. All right, so here's here's our our um, custom program that we built to do this. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be selecting a draw for week one, which is the seventh. Okay. Here we go. We're getting our. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to just close that and reopen it. I think it goes perfect when it's live, does it? Let's see here. If we go here. I had all this set up beforehand and checked it and it worked. Murphy's Law, right? Let's see here. Oh. And my controllers are blocking me seeing what I'm doing. Okay, so. Oh. Need a little drum roll music, don't I, while I fiddle around and doing this. All right, let's try this again. Get the draw date. Oh. Hold on. Got a, got a little technical problem here. Let me see if I can raise a little help here from my team. Bear with me. guys are around so bear with me a second here we'll get this straightened out week one week one all right what's that English saying Keep calm and carry on. I think that's what they say. All right. 
my programmers are jumping on their computers, so we'll just see why my basically. So while they're doing that, let me explain what how this has been set up because we changed it on the fly um, while I was in Africa. The original intention was to do um, to let the let each week accumulate until we actually did a draw, and then it would accumulate again until we did a draw, and the feedback I got from all the leaders was they weren't too impressed with that idea. They wanted to see us do a draw every week. So I had to think about that for a little bit and the, you know, the, the ramifications of that basically. Then I gave the instructions to my team to change that. And, um, so anyway, they've been messing around trying to catch up with that. And that's, you know, that's a number of things why um, they want two minutes. So I'm going to do a dog and pony show here for two minutes. <laughs> and anyway, that is why they, um, uh, why we had all these delays partly and also additionally they didn't have the, the payout figures right and that just seemed to be uh, an ongoing source of frustration for us all. Anyway, um, so uh, we got all that straightened out. We changed the little program that we're using to actually be able to choose the weeks for the draw. Once the draw happens, that week disappears off, off the list. It's done and, uh, and then we've only got the future draws that need to be done. So that means if, because we got behind on the first one, we were able to, um, you know, queue them up basically. Now I'm just going to try again here because they're telling me that they think they have it fixed. So let's see. It's looking good. Let's see. I think it's fetching everybody. Yes, sir. All right. All right, let me just tell them that worked. All right, I think we're good. Oh, the suspense, huh? All right, okay. Thank you. Well, that was lucky that he happened to be there right now. All right. All right, we're good. Good, good, good. All right, so I'm going to switch screens. Here we go. All right, so this is our program. I know it looks, we're going to improve it a little bit. It's a little bit, uh, it's nice. I mean, it's okay. Uh, I'm the, my, one of my programmers did it, and we, we know we're going to improve it and get a graphic designer in, but we've been so busy trying to make all this work that we didn't really have time to mess around with uh, the final version of how it looks. So let me just go over this real quick. So we in the box in the middle here, we have everybody who paid in week one is in this list. Okay. And that's, that's the draw week. That's, we, we do this, uh, we cut it off every Thursday. Um, and, uh, sorry, I'm just seeing what, what people are telling me here. Okay. And um, so all I need to do now is hit the button here to find a winner. So without any further delays and any more nail biting, let's do it. Let's find the winner. Oh, there we go. All right, so Maze T26. I don't know whether you're watching uh, watching us right now. I hope you are. I hope you're jumping around out of your seat. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> now, here's the next step. This is an issue. So the next thing I do is we view the payouts. Okay, so let's go to that. All right, so here's everybody and what they've won. So Maze, Maze at 26 has won $2,400. Uh, Lucky 8 has won nothing because they mustn't have been in the draw that week. Sorry, Lucky 8, that... Um, Hey, you know, that's, that's the name of this game. Um, now the reason they missed 3,835.60 is because they would have got the, uh, 2,400 plus the 1,435 because they're on row. They're the one row above. Okay. So that, that's a real sting of that one. Um, Frank is the upline diamond on this particular group. So he's done quite well. Um, Alliance wave is the next diamond above him. Um, there was no third diamond up, so there was no one to pay. Goodman 11 did, missed out. 
Um, this person here missed out, unfortunately, they weren't in it. Um, Ramat, so Mam C has won $1,435. Uh, missed a bunch of money because of these guys, right? Because they weren't in it. So I'd say this person missed a bunch of matches. That's unfortunate. And uh, Tamela missed out and so on and so on. So in this particular week, uh, the payout was $4,982.20. Um, it, this shows you why it's so important that the teams make sure that, you know, make sure that your team understands that uh, it's, you know, they want to be a part of this. They want to take, enjoy the product and, and be a part of the, te the winning team, okay? Um, we have $24,000 to give away, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a shame when um, so many people uh, are either not paying attention or perhaps they just don't understand uh, this. And now that we've done the first draw and everybody's actually got this and going to have this on video for replay, they'll be able to understand uh, how this works now and we'll make sure that they don't miss out next time. So the only thing left for me to do here now is to pay the winners. So I click on pay the winners. All right, that drawer is complete. All right, thank you everybody. And I'm, you know, I apologize again that it took so long to get this sweepstakes, get this whole thing running. Uh, again, for those of you who are, who are interested, I'm using live stream um, so that I can control and swap screens and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a great, it's always been a great platform for this kind of thing. And I'm just excited that we're able to plug it into, um, into Facebook Live. So with that, I'd like to thank everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll be doing the next draw uh, probably on Monday, I think. Um, tomorrow I've got some commitments. And we'll get caught up very quickly during the course of this next week so that we're on week four Thursday for a live draw. All right, guys. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye now.